Hi, I'm Ben, I'm the Lean Architects, and today we're looking at a house that I think could be the future of housing. So what do you think of when you think about what sustainable housing in the future looks like? Basically, you want something that performs really well, um, keeps the heat in and the cold out, or the cold in and the heat out. You want something that's low in embodied energy. You want something that's easy to work with. You want a building that um, has low embodied carbon uh, and you want materials that can be recyclable or can biodegrade at the end of their life. And so at this house in Lawton Park, I think we've managed to come up with a solution that hits a lot of those goals. And if it gets more widely adopted, this could well be a more sustainable way of building into the future here in Australia. So what we have here is a single family home on a suburban block in Mosman Park, Western Australia. And we've come up with a design for the family that is a Scandi modern style home. So it's got a raked roof, um, large open spaces. And the main uh, part of the house is actually timber framed. And that's gonna be fully insulated with wood fiber and clad in wood fibre cladding as well, and that'll be rendered in a lime render. The only part of the house that's gonna be brick is the double garage, and the reason we've done that is for uh, cost efficiency, but also for robustness with cars coming and going. So this house is built uh, for, with energy efficiency and environmental consciousness at the forefront. Um, we have an east-west oriented block, and so we've designed the house with all the living spaces facing north. We've got the garage on the uh, north side of the block where it's in the shadow of its neighbour and the house is pushed back as far to the south of the block in order to get as much winter light as possible. So like all our houses, this house is designed to be airtight. Um, it has full airtight wrap around the inside. It has the weather type membrane externally and double glazing throughout and it's going to have heat recovery ventilation system so this house should perform very well, be very comfortable and low energy in operation. So other than the garage, this is a full timber framed home and um, that's the best outcome from an embodied energy point of view but also from performance because it can be really well insulated inside the timber frame. So the stage of construction they're at at the moment is the house is fully framed up. They've done the external weather tight membrane and now the boys are starting to install the combi panel, which is a 60 mil thick compressed wood fibre uh, panel product. And that's just a really um, easy product to work with. It's easy to cut, um, it's tongue and groove, so it all sort of slots together. And once the house is fully wrapped, that's gonna provide like a continuous thermal blanket for the whole building, including the roof, which will do a really good job of preventing um, heat getting in and heat being lost. And um, when that's all done and the windows are installed, um, some renders are gonna come back and they're gonna put a final layer of uh, lime, a natural lime render over the top. So it'll have that very natural lime stucco look. That's quite sort of typical. You can see the neighbor's house here has a rendered concrete. So it'll basically blend in with the neighborhood. So the combi panel uh, wood fiber cladding also sheaths the roof framing and that provides a, a nice flat surface on which to put your vapour permeable membrane but also provides a really good 60 mil thick um, continuous uh, insulating barrier for the house. So here we can see the uh, Parva Flex which is the 90 mil compressed wood fibre um, infill insulation and that goes inside the 90 mil uh, timber stud. The really great thing about this type of installation is that it fits really snugly into the timber studs. And the important thing with insulation is it needs to be continuous thickness and it needs to be really snug fitting. And that's a really hard thing to achieve with um, typical you know, glass wall bat, which gets pushed and prodded and, and people's hands put holes in it. But with this stuff, it's really dense, 60 kilos per meter cubed, compared to say nine to maybe up to 20 kilograms per meter cubed for um, mineral wool. So it's really, really firm, it's really snug. But the main benefit is that it really slows down the passage of heat through the product. And that is, um, that's basically called phase shift. So when you take that 90 mil stud 
of insulation. And then outside of that, we've got the 60 millimeters of compressed wood fiber cladding. That gives you a combined insulation thickness of 150 mils, which is fantastic. That's way better than, for example, well, double brick easily. Obviously better than a 90 mil stud, better than 120 mil stud. But the real benefit is that density and that is what slows down the passage of heat. So from a design point of view, this house is actually really simple. Taking the theme of like the Scandi modern farmhouse, it's really a simple two-storey volume. And all the living spaces are on the ground floor and all the kids' bedrooms are on the upper floor. And it's pushed right back onto the south side of the block to allow, allow the winter light to penetrate deep into these large windows that are right here. And also being a simple sort of two-storey volume, makes it really straightforward to build. We haven't had to use any steel beams or any steel um, posts. The frame of the house actually went up really, really quickly. From a cladding point of view and wrapping and thermally, that simple two-storey volume reaps heaps of benefits for the clients. So wherever possible, we try to simplify the form of the building as much as possible, but still make a really sort of engaging architecture that works really well for the block. So that concludes the under construction tour of this house in Mossman Park. We think it's a really big step in the right direction from an environmental point of view, for comfort, for performance, for environmental responsibility. So like and subscribe to these videos and, and keep seeing this as the house progresses. But also hit me up with any questions or reach out to us at Lean House if you'd like us to talk to you about your new project.